As I said, Joe, when you called me, I am incredibly honored by this responsibility, and I'm ready to get to work. I am ready to get to work. Is it difficult to decipher her because we're not used to seeing black women in these roles? She is the 10th black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. We have never seen a black woman on the Supreme Court. She is the first black woman to ever be um, on a major party ticket as a vice president. What I'm suggesting is that perhaps our inability to see her has to do with our vision for our country. And our third reconstruction would be to reform that vision as a nation. So not requiring her to be more legible to us, but requiring us to reimagine how we see people, what roles they play, how they're integrated into our society, my fellow Americans, now let me introduce to you, for the first time, your next Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. Kamala, the floor is yours. That the Biden-Harris ticket will fight for you every day at a time when you feel like no one's got your back, at a time of high anxiety, whether it's because of COVID or the struggling economy as a result of COVID, or whether it's a result of your sense of the racial injustice that fueled the protests over the summer, this is a ticket that's going to wake up every day and fight for you. As a child of immigrants, she knows personally how immigrant families enrich our country, as well as the challenges of what it means to grow up black and Indian American in the United States of America. Right. The question is, who would I have sit at my dinner table with my wife, my kids, my family? right, or a small group of friends, that's intimate, that's because that, I drink with a lot of people I don't trust, but I never invite someone into my home that I don't trust. And that's the key. And I think that's, she can make that connection, um, and I think that's something the campaign sort of is banking on her ability to do. Howard and he's a bully. And he is an embarrassment. In her um, for president, that she is not going to allow him or anyone else to quote unquote put her in her place. And so this is once again a moment where black women, not just Kamala Harris, but black women running for Congress. Um, are reorganizing how we might understand a black woman's place. And I think that that's an important part of the possibility for our country moving forward. But um, be no mistake that Trump will continue to try to exert his force. And certainly I think that part of um, the way our society accepts that behavior is because there's this underlying assumption that she is out of order. But I think what she's calling for, in fact, is a reordering of, of America as we know it. That we are going to have to spend our time holding accountable a president who is lawless and who has evidenced no respect for the oath of office that he has taken.